happy to be back on the stage again. And <laughs> I know that most of you have tried Vietnamese food. Yeah. All right. Do you like Vietnamese food? Yeah. 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 Okay. So tell me which Vietnamese food have you tried so far? Have you ever tried this one? Yeah. Uh, basically, rice with pork and fish sauce. Not yet. What a pity. It's very delicious. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Spring roll. Yeah. You have it and yeah. you like it? Yeah. Right. What about this? Yeah. yeah. Also in Vietnamese restaurants. Yeah. And this? <laughs> right. So I'm very happy that you've tried the Vietnamese traditional dishes and Vietnamese cuisines have made its position in the world. And I'm very, very happy about that. So um, today I will talk to you, you know, quickly about the Vietnamese cuisine. What do you think is special about Vietnamese food? Healthy. It is very healthy. Why? Not oily. Not oily. Not oily. Not fat. Many vegetables. Many vegetables. What else? And it's very hot. Yeah. And you are supposed to eat Vietnamese dishes hot because when it is hot, you can sweat a lot, and all the toxic will come out. That is our theory. <laughs> so first of all, um, Vietnamese food is very low in fat. We have different way of cooking. And um, usually we will we'll from simple to complicated, or we have fries, stir fries, deep fry, steam boil, uh, a lot of ways. However, in cooking, we will use a minimal amount of oil or fat. Uh, and also we add a lot of kinds of vegetables, herbs, and mint in order to preserve the freshness and the natural taste of the dish as much as possible. And that's why Vietnamese food is considered one of the healthiest food in the world. And if you like Vietnamese food, it is a good choice. <laughs> and next, I will talk about rice. As you know, Vietnam is believed, I mean, up to now, it's still believed an agricultural-based nation. So that's why in a lot of our traditional dishes, we use uh, the main materials are uh, pork and rice. They are very simple materials in our daily life. If you have a look at this, you can see that this is two um, main traditional cakes on Tate Holiday. And this kind of cakes they cook for at least 24 hours, mm -hmm. and mainly with rice and pork. And here, this is also rice cake and pork, and mm -hmm. very delicious. Beautiful too. Yeah. And also we have a very strongly developed industry of fish sauce and shrimp sauce. Do you like fish sauce? Fish sauce. I know in Japan people use soy sauce or some of my Chinese and Taiwanese friends they use soy sauce too because they cannot stand the smell of fish sauce because it's <laughs> so stinky. But I mean, what is so special about fish sauce? The special thing is that when you combine fish sauce with other materials or uh, other dishes, it's the stinky smell will naturally disappear. <laughs> and it gives you a very, uh, you should try. And Vietnam is a, a culture which is crazy for noodle. We eat noodle all the time. And pho, the kind of noodle that you have in v Vietnamese restaurant is just one in hundreds kinds of noodles that we have. And if you have a chance to go to Vietnam, I will be the person who make noodle for you. <laughs> okay, we're all coming. <laughs> That's cool. Please be your host. You're here. very welcome. <laughs> okay, so um, that's the common characteristics in Vietnamese regions. Uh, you know that Vietnamese uh, area is divided into three regions, and of course we have a lot of differences in terms of food. Um, you know, different in three regions, for example, the food in the north, where I come from, is usually saltier 
a lot of salt. But the food in the south is more uh, sweet and sour, and the food in the central is very hot and spicy. Mm -hmm. However, we do not have enough time to um, talk more about that, but if you want to know more, I will be more than happy to talk about that more. So here is the picture of a common meal in a family in Vietnam. So usually we'll have steamed rice, a bowl of soup, fish sauce, and vegetables, and we make sure that we will have at least fish or meat in our daily life. Is it uh, similar to Japan's common meal? Yes. How about Cambodian? Same. Same. Same, mm. Same right? Go. 
gold. As you can see, the word artistic. And that is what you are doing. Oh, immense talent. She has a French horn talent. Okay, so actually you can spend more time at home to look at your characteristics and also your compatible partners to see if uh, who among you can be the lover to each other. It's quite fun actually. So for special events, it's also a sex, uh, some events like wedding or a building house. For example, if you want to build a house, you should choose the best year or the best month or the best day and even the best hour in order to implement the construction. So now, the next part, very quickly, about a new trend in Vietnamese spiritual life, which is to trace for the soldiers who died in the war. So the reason for this is that Vietnam had to face a lot of war a lot of wars in the past, and a lot of people died, and a lot of people lost their bodies. And recently, there are a lot of reports from families and people uh, who experienced the spirits of these soldiers who come back and ask for, you know, finding their bones, um, you know. So we have a lot of ways in order to find the bones of these soldiers, and one of a lot of ways is the telepathy. So basically, telepathy or telepath are those people who have special abilities, uh, and they can communicate through the mind, and they can talk to the spirits, actually, in order to spot or to find the locations where the bodies were buried before. So, does this way work successfully? I'm not sure because there is no scientific explanation for that. However, in many cases, it's very effective. For example, my father, he lost his father 40 years ago, and, uh, and my, grand my grandfather died at the age of 28, and after 20 years, my father found his bones 